Hello and welcome back to the vlogs. Well, oh my days, it's a beautiful day to be in Oxford. We've come here to go check out the National History Museum and of course, a little bit of sightseeing and some amazing architecture, as well as check out some of the history that Oxford has to offer. I mean, look at this. Wow. I actually forget how gorgeous this place is. The one thing that we are not doing today is going shopping because we did that yesterday and spent a little bit too much money. But it never hurts to window shop, does it? Oh my God, I can't get over how amazing it looks here. It is just absolutely stunning. Dude, I feel like I'm in Harry Potter or something. And speaking of which, there is merch for Harry Potter literally everywhere, <laughs> as well as everything Oxford you could possibly imagine. Ironically, I actually think it is a filming set of Harry Potter. But I think for five pounds, we'll actually check it out. Oh my days. This place is absolutely stunning. Wow. I'm so glad we decided to come in here. Oh my. Wow. I've got no words. This place is. This place is absolutely stunning. Like, look at that. Wow, this is beautiful. I didn't even spot the organs up there. And that is only the first room, what the fuck? And straight out the chapel into this beautiful garden. It's, God, it's a gorgeous day today. Well, if we continue on as the guided tour, just look at the architecture outside. I honestly can't get over how much of a lovely day it is today. I could sit here and admire this view all day. It's actually quite crazy to think that people actually study here and get to come here like every day. With a view like this, I definitely wouldn't struggle to study here. Benjamin, the flower's not meant to go in your ear. Where'd it go? On your ear, look. Wow, is that very pretty? <laughs> but back on our little tour, we've come to a sundial, which is actually like the globe. How cool is that? Honestly, I could just appreciate how pretty this place is it's absolutely stunning you know the funny thing is is we barely actually stepped foot in oxford we got out of the car and it's like the first spot we actually walked past and it was like let's go in here <laughs> and i'm so glad we did now this looks like something out of harry potter quite literally the great hall wow can you imagine having dinner here i just spotted at the top of these <laughs> look at the faces up there <laughs> how creepy is that but I think that might be the end of our little tour. It has to be said that Balliol College, absolutely lovely little place. But we've come back out onto the absolutely gorgeous streets of Oxford. And we are beginning to make our way towards the Natural History Museum. Speaking of museums, I've just actually spotted one with some weird heads outside. Like, look at this. How strange. I think this is the Museum of Science. I just can't get over these faces. Like, look at this guy. <laughs> It probably doesn't come as a shock, just like me and uh, my family today, that there is a ton of tourists here today. But as our walk through Oxford continues, we are getting episode closer to the museum. But sadly, a bit of it looks like it's under construction as the bell tomes 12 o'clock. We have now arrived at the National History Museum. This might be the first museum I've ever been in, so I'm actually really excited. And out of the lift, literally straight into the museum. Wow. Oh my God. I was not expecting this when we came in here. Wow. Dinosaurs. Not only that, but they got bears. How cool is that? This is the American black bear. Ah, oh, is he soft? Oh, he is very soft. And this is 100% the first time I've ever seen like a dinosaur skeleton like that. You know, you always see it in movies and obviously I've seen it in like Jurassic Park and stuff, but it's so bizarre seeing it in person. It's a T-Rex. How cool is that? Mate, it's bloody massive. Do you like the T-Rex? Dude, even the ostrich is massive. Look at the size of that bird. Wow, that looks gnarly. What the f It's fucking massive. Look, is that the baby elephant? It's the same age as you. That's a big elephant, isn't it? So this one is the Asian elephant, and then that one is the African elephant, and a baby one. Wow, the size difference is crazy. It's actually huge. <laughs> Just stop myself now, everything here is huge. And yeah, look at the size of this bad boy. Oh my God. I would not want to get caught by one of these. 
a Nile crocodile. Oh my God, I actually saw a video of this this morning and apparently like it's not extinct. This is extremely rare. It looks cool. Looks like something out of a video game. It makes me realize how many things in the world that I've just like never seen or like explored. Dude, I don't know why I didn't come here sooner. I don't actually live that far away. This place is... Wow. Wow, this is a cool room. Wow, look at this. I feel like I've just walked into like the artifact room full of a variety of interesting things and creepy things. Lots and lots of creepy stuff. <laughs> What the fuck? So from what I can tell, this is like the human art form, but in like different countries and stuff like that. And then there's just a cabinet of masks, which look pretty creepy, but kind of cool at the same time. Some of the stuff that humans are capable of designing is quite bizarre. It kind of sounds stupid to say, but like it's kind of weird having read about all of this stuff and then seeing it in person. But man, I could definitely just explore an entire room made of like model houses and stuff as well as like model ships. Look at that. Oh my God, there's massive ones over here. Look at this one. How cool is that? Yeah. What do you think of the ship, Benji? Uh, and they're big pirate ships. These are British ships. Yeah, and this one is a big one. Oh, well, I didn't actually even see the massive totem pole that was just behind me. It's actually massive. I think it is now time to head up to the top floor because they have weapons up there. This has given me some Call of Duty throwbacks. Look at this, it's the blunderbuss. How sick is that? Even the level of detail on the pistols is absolutely insane. Look at the tiny ones. Oh, these are really cool. What is that? The Snap Hands rotating block pistol. Holy crap. Oh my God, something was just like glistening out the corner of my eye. I, didn't, I just spotted it. Look at this. Oh my God. That is some sick, that's like some Game of Thrones gear, that is, look at that. And at the end of the corridor, it's just this dude chilling. Dude, oh my god, he looks geared. The, the glass is a bit murky, so you can't really properly see through it, and obviously you could just see me in the reflection. Hello! <laughs> but we have indeed got into the sword collection, and that is a pretty badass looking sword right there on its own. Oh my god, look at the handle for that. Wow. Now that is a really cool guard for the sword. Indian swords. But like, look at this. So the blade on the handle is like the same length. I couldn't actually imagine getting hit by one of these things. Like, oh my God. Don't get me wrong, any of these weapons would probably do a lot of damage, but Jesus. Wait, is that the Spaz 12? Oh, it is. God, it's so weird how I recognize a gun, literally from playing Call of Duty. Because that looks like the M16, but I don't think it is. It's the AR-15 as well. But that was an absolutely lovely tour around the museum. I think it's time to go find some lunch. Thank God, is it nice to be back outside in the fresh air. Bit of sun. And one quick refuel later, we're back on the busy streets of Oxford as we make our way to Oxford's Botanical Gardens. And look how cool this little shop is. Really old school Tudor building. And it's a hat shop. But I have to say again, how stunning the architecture is here. It's so nice. I just look at the windows for that building alone. It's so good. I really wish at this point I'd actually brought my sunglasses out on me because I didn't expect the sun to be so hot today, but man, I'm blinded. I'm just sat outside a cafe, people watching. It is a incredibly muggy day in, uh, in Oxford today, but we are walking past what looks to be yet another college. However, it looks like a cathedral or something. Like the houses here look really cool. But we have finally made it to the Botanical Gardens, which I'm not entirely sure what to expect here, but I think this is it. Just a, a lovely little gardens in the middle of Oxford. Benjamin is completely flat out at this point, but I guess you get to see these beautiful flowers with the Magdalen Tower in the background. What a view that is. I'll be honest, I was expecting the gardens to be a lot bigger than this, but I'll take it. A lovely bit of greenery amongst all of the amazing architecture that Oxford has to offer. Oh, well, <laughs> This is a 
small garden. We were actually just walking over a medieval cemetery uh, and the main garden is actually through there. Which is definitely a lot bigger than the one we were just going through. So we are here and I guess we'll make our way through. Oh, this actually takes me back to a time that I came to uh, Oxford with Tom. Where we literally hired a boat and went down the river. And I'd do this today if it wasn't for the fact that Benjamin is very much asleep. It doesn't look like these guys have much idea as to what they're doing. And to be fair, when we did it, we didn't either, but it was a very, very funny day. This really is a lovely spot to come to in Oxford. Like if you ever want to just get away from the busy city life, because literally there are tourists everywhere. It's so quiet and it's so nice here. Plenty of little spots where you can sit in the shade and enjoy the peace and quiet. However, we have relaxed here for about an hour or so now. And there is one spot left that I wanted like to go to. And that is yet another Harry Potter inspired building where I actually think this one had some specific film spots. And we have stepped into yet another Gorgeous place, all my days. But first on the list is Chapel and Cloisters. And I believe this is iconic spot number one. Uh, wow, these places are crazy big. All my days. Unfortunately, it does say no videos. I so wish I could film that because, oh my God, crazy. This is the thing that everyone should remember from Harry Potter. That is literally the tree from the film. But man, like, it's crazy how different it looks from the films, but the same, it's a weird way to explain it. So this courtyard was actually only used for the Goblet of Fire film, which was one of the best films from the Harry Potter series. And it's a scene where Mad-Eye turns Malfoy into a ferret. But let's continue our exploration and see what else this has to offer. And straight into here. Wow. What a place this is. This is a great hall. Similar to the one that we actually saw earlier, but I think this one was directly inspiration for Hogwarts. Yeah, look how grand this room is. It's actually huge. It is strange to think that these places are literally still used today to study and stuff. And how random is that? There is just like a hill with stairs. Although it does say that no public access is allowed and people are just kind of going about their way. But I think that is going to conclude our miniature tour of the new college because our legs are killing us. It's a long way to get back home. So one last look at this place, which is absolutely stunning. The architecture is insane. I really wish I could have filmed in there. Obviously I couldn't because of religious reasons and stuff like that, but all my days it was stunning in there. I do wonder if it's considered when filming or picking filming locations that they will eventually become like tourist spots. Because like just little spots like that, loads of people flock to. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure they probably make a lot of money and it probably goes back into the college or something like that, but yeah. Oxford truly is a stunning place to go. Quite literally every turn you make in this place, it's just like spot after spot, like I can't film it all. We're most definitely gonna have to come back and like revisit some of these places because the architecture is here, like my days, it's just what a gorgeous place it is. However, it has been a very long weekend for us and I'm gonna end my video here. So if you have enjoyed it, please leave the video a thumbs up, rate, I appreciate that. If you're only around here, feel free to subscribe. I do appreciate it. As always, been Ryan and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.